we're going to look at temperature as a way to help us understand negative numbers. So if we have a thermometer where our temperatures are going from negative 40 degrees Celsius all the way to 40 degrees Celsius, let's just remind ourselves of what this means. Once we're above zero, we're getting towards warmer temperatures and of course the higher we go, the warmer our temperature. Below zero, we're talking about cold temperatures, right? Ice forms at zero, so anything below zero is cold. And of course, the more we go down, the lower the temperature becomes, the colder it is. So if you were asked to arrange these temperatures in descending order, the first thing we need to make sure we know what descending means. To descend means to go down. So if we're going to be asked to arrange them in descending order, it must be from hottest down to coldest. Well, let's put these temperatures on the thermometer. So 24 is about there, just somewhere between 20 and 30. Negative 24 is somewhere between negative 20 and negative 30. 3 is just a bit above 0 and negative 3 is just a bit below 0. So if we're going now to put them in hottest to coldest order, the hottest is 24. And then after that comes 3. And then after that comes the negative 3. And then the coldest temperature, the lowest temperature, is negative 24. All right, let's have a look at a bit of a scales down thermometer. Here we're only going to have temperatures between 4 and negative 4. Which is bigger, negative 4 or negative 3? Again, let's just look at where they are on the thermometer. Negative 4 is there and negative 3 is there. Which of those is bigger? Well, negative 3 is the bigger, the higher temperature. And so we can write that as negative 3 is bigger than negative 4. And in maths, we like to use a little symbol to show that bigger than. And it is written like that. Negative 3 is bigger than negative 4. Now, it's very easy to get confused as to which way around those little signs must go when we're trying to write bigger than and smaller than. And the way I choose to remember it is that the big gap must go towards the bigger number. So that big open gap must go towards negative 3 because it's the bigger number. We can also look at questions like, if the temperature started at 2 degrees C but dropped by 5 degrees, what's the temperature now? So we see that we're starting at 2. And if it's dropping by 5 degrees, we must go down 5 steps. So 1, 2, 3, four, five steps down, takes me from two down to negative three degrees C. 